right, we're back with another soda review. This time, it looks a lot different, I know. Different set, um, obviously we're outside of the car, also with the new camera setup as a previous video. This is probably gonna be a one to two time use set as I am moving soon, but I just wanted to kind of get you guys into the change of seeing me outside of the car. Season two plans on being outside of the car on its own set, so that'll be something to look forward in the future. But for today, we are going to be looking at a familiar brand of the channel, Boylan. We're going to be looking at their Boylan Root Beer. Now, I've had Root Beer before on this channel, uh, Sprecher. That was a pretty famous video for uh, my explicitive right at the beginning because it was a bit too fizzy. So we're going to be going ahead with this. I like bottled sodas when they're clear brown bottles. I get them and they make sense for a lot of sodas, but I like seeing what's inside. So that's kind of a downgrade for it, but let's go in. That's a bit of an odd one. It almost has like a rubbery kind of way it sits on your tongue. It's not like your traditional root beer. It, it's weird. It kind of has almost a faint bubblegum flavor to it, which is really, really strange for a root beer and something I'm not really a fan of. Bubblegum isn't something that I would go for. And so to have that flavor, especially in a root beer, is a bit strange. I don't know if that's naturally from either sarsaparilla or sassafras, the roots associated with root beer, but that is just a really odd taste. Let's see what sweeteners it uses. All right, so this is the first of the sodas that I've actually checked sugars or sweeteners on that actually uses cane sugar. Uh, now that's perfectly well and good and helps with a lot of sodas in terms of how punchy they are, how sweet they are. This sweetness wise isn't that bad. It's actually pretty good. It's not, you know, punching you out the mouth. With sweetness it's good on that front most root beers are most root beers aren't really that sweet um, but yeah that weird bubblegum flavor just isn't sitting right with me uh, like always this is room temperature not refrigerated or anything but still it is it is weird I, I, I don't know how to pinpoint it but I think bubblegum is the closest thing I can associate with that faint flavor it still tastes like root beer don't get me wrong but the bubblegum aspect I just don't <clears throat> I just don't know if that's the uh, the right way to kind of lean this soda. But all in all, it's, it's decent. In terms of rating, price-wise, it's good. I've mentioned the whole two for three thing my local grocer does with boiling, which is really nice. So price-wise, it's good. Use of cane sugar, that is a good thing over corn syrup. I know a lot of people are afraid of that. I'm personally not. I could care less what sugar or sweetener is being used, but I know for some people that is a big determining factor. So that could be seen as a positive for them using cane sugar. But the weird bubblegum flavor to me and just the overall lack of full bodiness, as it is kind of mellow, would um, would probably make the boiling root beer ranked at only a three. Um, I know that might sound harsh, especially for some of the other things that uh, Boylan has taken with their Shirley Temple being like a three, their um, Black Cherry being a two. I know they've taken some heaters in this series, which some people might say is unjustified, but if we're dealing with sodas and we're dealing with things on the whole, I gotta give the Boiling Root Beer just a three. Boiling's had good stuff. You know, their sparkling lemonade is the highest rated soda that we've had in the series. Some people might say, oh, it's a lemonade. It's not really a soda, but it is sparkling. If it's carbonated and it has enough sweetness to it and everything, it's a goddamn soda. You know, I don't like sparkling waters or anything, LaCroix, bubbly, I hate that stuff because it doesn't have enough flavor and it just feels kind of like bad. Sodas, you know, you're expecting a certain amount of flavor and so people might see a sparkling lemonade and not associate it with soda, but I do, especially because it's probably made in a similar fashion to how soda is made mixing it with syrups and stuff. That's all I really have to say. Going forward, uh, there will be a recap episode after this you'll see the same set so you'll see a recap going over all the sodas i tried in season one all their ratings and kind of plans for the series going forward and then just look and wait and see on your timeline or your notifications anything like that uh, i also have now an official uh x account for the channel as well as a uh, tiktok you won't see a lot posting from there but on those you'll see updates for the channel in terms of equipment, locations, possible season previews in terms of what sodas we'll be trying, what the general theming may be, polls for things not necessarily related to soda, but just general discussion, uh, a la my rant series. All those will kind of be encompassed on there. Um, I haven't made any posts yet, but just be on the lookout for that. Links to those will be in the description uh, as well as they'll be on the screen right now, either next to me or below me, I haven't decided yet. So check those out, follow, subscribe, whatever the things are called. Different sites use different terms. So 
whatever is the keep track of this person button, I guess. So that's something. So it's general overview for this episode. Boiling Root Beer 3, weird bubblegum flavor. That's all I really got to say. Um, thanks for watching.